one of the more overlooked mechanics in Reverse 1999 is the tuning. Over the course of the game you will receive two different, let's call them instruments, for you to use at your disposal. But which one is actually better? So the idea for this video came to me after watching Gacha Smack's video about this topic. Viewed for me personally, I don't view it as an upgrade of the current melody. I kind of view it as a side grade and depending on the team that you're utilizing, um, it can be more advantageous. That's how I'm viewing it for now. Shout out to him and check out his channels if you haven't done so yet. However, I was also interested in the opinion of others. So I went over to Twitch, hijacked Lucky Stream, and asked him and his chat about their opinion. So my answer, Rivenous, uh, I used Grand Orchestra for one turn, and uh, I instantly did not like it. So now I was left with two different opinions and on my way to find out. Which one is objectively better? As always, a short disclaimer. Due to different units having different needs and different teams having different requirements and playstyles, using one over the other in any given specific scenario might be more beneficial to you than following the upcoming numbers blindly. Before going into testing, I first wrote down the instrument's different moxie generations and their skill costs. Then I did some quick math just to never use this again, but now it's here anyway. So let's lay out the rules. All runs have been made with the best possible outcome for the current hand and not for the highest moxie generation. This is because of first melody, the highest gain would always be to just use skills and never move cards due to its inherently low moxie generation for moving and merging. Secondly, all rounds are treated independently from each other and I am not allowed to move cards mindlessly around for gaining more moxie. And at last, I have not used any tuning skills as doing so would introduce some flaws. More on that you can read in the sheet itself, as always the link is in the description. As I got bored of stage 212 and 315 hard mode, I went into 421 hard mode this time. Well, the actual reason is because everything else dies too fast to survive 15 rounds of testing, but anyway. Why 15 rounds you may ask, and that is a valid question. Simply said, I was interested if the amount of moxie generated will shift between the two instruments between different fight lengths. My main reason for that take was the 20 starting moxie first melody gets, which I thought may give it a stronger start by turning worse the longer a fight progresses. Turns out, not really, but it was worth a try. So as I said before, I went into 421 hard mode with teams of 2 and 3 respectively, clapped this guy a few hundred times and proceeded to face my weirdest dreams over and over again. While I did that, I recorded and wrote down all the moxie I generated and we had our data already. Wow, that really went fast this time. Okay, having our data, it's now time to evaluate it. Shortly calculating the average amount of moxie gained per 5, 10 and 15 rounds for first melody and grand orchestra respectively, we get a nice overview. And this shows some quite interesting data. Not only are the skills of grand orchestra more expensive to use, it will also generate less moxie than first melody over the course of a fight, at basically all stages. Although the number for first melody at 10 rounds for a team of 3 seems abnormally high, so let's look at this number with a grain of salt. Now we can just take our average moxie gained per x rounds, divide it by the cost of the respective skill and we have some nice looking data showing us how often on average you could use each skill per battle. So what can we learn from this data? Well, Grand Orchestra's main appeal is the possibility to easily generate 3 star cards, however many cards have the full use unlocked already at 2 star, for example when they gain a debuff. Not only that, but we can use first melody's merge skill nearly twice as many times as Grand Orchestra's, and playing well allows us to make 3 star cards with first melody, by merging to create a 2 star, which then merges with another already present 2 star. On top of that, I think most people will agree here with me, even though this is a subjective take. The ability to completely unbrick your entire hand is like way too good. And you can do that 11 times during 15 turns, whereas Grand Orchestra allows you to move one card for free at about every second turn, at least in theory. But hey, all of this doesn't mean Grand Orchestra is completely useless and has no usages whatsoever. It is just, if in doubt, you're probably better off taking first melody. Peace.